Well, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Have you ever been interested in, interested in a plant that's edible, medicinal, and can be used as emergency toilet paper? Well, have I got the plant for you. Thimbleberry. Thimbleberry. Scientific name, Rubus parviflorus. They grow one and a half to seven feet tall on spineless or thornless stems. They have large leaves, which look quite a bit like maple leaves. They have five lobes and they are with toothed edges. And the fruit is raspberry-like, starting out white, starts with white flowers, turning white, pinkish, and eventually into red. Shallow domed sweet berries. And they're kind of hairy, velvety looking. And when they're ripe, they come off very easily. Thimbleberries are found throughout Western North America and also in the Great Lakes region. You can, found them in, you can find them in open areas, riparian zones. They're shade tolerant, so you can find them underneath trees, like under coniferous trees or deciduous trees. And uh, they also can be found, did I say it already? In dry areas. Thimbleberry fruits are delicious, kind of tasting raspberry-like. But they don't take very much abuse or they don't travel very well and they also ripen kind of at different times you can see some are ripe and some aren't so they aren't really very good for gathering in large quantities maybe they would be gathered with other berries like you know raspberries or blackberries or whatever and mixed in with those other parts of the plants that are edible are the young shoots which were peeled and eaten raw or cooked. A handy thing to know about thimble berries is the leaves are large and soft, so they could be used as biodegradable toilet paper if you're out and about and in a jam. Thimbleberry leaf tea is gently astringent and has been used during pregnancy to prepare for birth and also postpartum to reduce inflammation and swelling. So, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, have you ever found any thimbleberry? Or used the leaves for purposes other than tea? And uh, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.